explore with us in New York. <laughs> New York is a beautiful place, man. It's just great. I recommend it for everybody. Everybody bring the toddler, bring the elderly, senior citizens, bring them all, my man. This is a great place. If you can't make it here, you need to go to Iowa. <laughs> Journey with us through the Brooklyn Bridge, Ellis Island, Statue of Liberty and National Monument, Empire State Building, 9-11, Memorial and Museum in just four days. Stay looking with us. Hey, Chicago girl, what you like about New York? Everything. I like the people. I like, um, yeah, I like the people. I like how, there's, how it's very diverse. Everybody hustling to get what they they want. Got it. Thanks. Mm. My family explored from the plane it took to get to New York, to the train, to the bus, to the ferry, to the taxi, to Uber. We explored all modes of transportation in New York. Listen, Harlem was the stage and we was on it. I love Harlem. Every time I go to New York, it's about Harlem for me. That has to be the starting point. Everything, we're not going to even talk about the hotel. Mm -mm, mm -mm. All I can say is Harlem does not have a lot of hotels to stay in. And I cannot recommend the place that my family stayed. Now, this is my second time staying there. And it was at the Aloft, which is a Marriott property right next to the Apollo. But listen, mm-mm. I cannot recommend it. Highly disappointed. We'll talk about that for another day. We were out exploring Harlem, so we tried not to dwell on that. Uh, Angel of Harlem was lit, but you know what? This is New York. Let's talk about it. The Empire State Building. How do you go to New York and not go? So we have video. We have pictures of the views that allow you to look at New York from the Empire State Building. Times Square, a must do. A must, must do. You have to see the, the place where the ball dropped, where we're, we're used to the landscape of New York and everything being about um, the events that happened in Times Square. So naturally, we went. Now, given this is COVID, there was still a ton of people. Listen to this guy. about 45 minutes or so maybe an hour to get to Coney Island and we had a blast it drizzled on us but it didn't stop it didn't stop my nieces from doing their things it didn't stop us from walking on the boardwalk we had a blast um we had an opportunity to just chill as a family on the boardwalk the girls did all of the rides they wanted to do those that were open because it did rain but you know what rain doesn't have to say you can't enjoy the ne the famous nathan's hot dogs i think um my brother-in-law and one of my nieces ate there um the rest of us did not eat there but i tell you what we picked another spot which i'll show you a little later but coney island is a place that i think it's historic. You got to go. So my brother-in-law felt the need to go and walk on the dirty beach because it was dirty. I like New York. <laughs> my mama has to perform. What did I like about New York? New York actually was a pleasant surprise. I had never had a desire to really want to visit New York because of how the media portrayed New York. But actually, after visiting it, um, I definitely have to come back because there's so many more sites and boroughs that I want to visit and I didn't have the opportunity. So definitely, definitely a must do on your travel list. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, what do you like about New York? We're here because of you, your birthday. I love New York. I love that New York, I think what a lot of people have said is very um, diverse, more, um, 
ethnicities living together. I like that we can find all kinds of food. And depending on the mood, there's entertainment to suit it. So that's what I love about New York. Yeah. Bro, what you love about New York? What you love about New York, Chicago man? Being here with family. Right. That's what I love about New York. Oh, I like you, like you. A family that explores together stays together. So we had to have our seafood in Coney Island. So here's a little of what we had, a little sample of, of from the fish to the shrimp to the fried pickles to the fries to the lobster roll. Everybody had to have the little special corn. Dad and daughter corn eat. So after on another day, so after we explored uh, Coney Island, we hit up Brooklyn. Who, who cannot? do the Brooklyn Bridge. We walked that entire bridge. You talking about tired? I think that day we all got in a minimum of maybe 25,000 steps because we did the beautiful Brooklyn Bridge on top of walking downtown Brooklyn. We, I'm telling you, four days you can explore any city. And the scenery keeps me looking. I stay looking in New York. This has explored even a snake around the neck. Chicago girl, name one thing you like about New York. The people. I like how they are. They're very nice. They're very kind. In New York? Yes. Really? The people I've met on the street, they're not like the people in Chicago. Like in Chicago, they're really rude. Like you see on the street, somebody yelling at somebody for no reason. So they seem like very calm, calmer. Okay. Celebrated my sister's birthday in Harlem at the famous Melba's. Hey, happy birthday, Harlem style. Woo! Yeah. 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 So on the count of three, if you will all please help us sing. One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. And Melba was excited because because of us, we brought the governor of New York to come in and eat at Melba's. No, no, no. I'm just joking. The governor had to have the candy yams and macaroni and cheese, the fish and sauteed spinach, garlic mashed potatoes, calamari, fried chicken, and even the honey chicken. The governor came to Melba's because she heard that we were there, the black explorers. And then she followed us to our next exploration. <laughs> okay, I'm joking. 9-11 Memorial, but my family explores all kinds of food. So we stopped at this Singleese restaurant in Harlem and man, it was good. And again, if you heard earlier, my sister said it best. We love to explore all kinds of food. So we had a little synagogue right in Harlem and all of our trips. Education is not a crime. So we believe as a family, you have to get educated about the places and the people and just learn some new things and Everything for me is about street art, so I find it in every city I'm in. My nieces even explore things that they normally wouldn't do when we travel. We just encourage everybody to travel, explore. This brother of mine, he's a black explorer wearing our gear, wearing our family gear that's on sale. Follow him. Be photo shot on. That's what he does. He takes beautiful photos, as you can see. No matter where we are, he's a true black explorer. <laughs> I'm a black explorer. We explore. We're black explorers. Are you an explorer? Do you explore? Where do you explore? What do you explore? Is be an explorer with us. Black explorers for life. This is our New York experience. Peace be blessed. Mwah.